Morning, y'all. Rob the American here, and welcome to Tales of Manchester and it Watches. All right, y'all, it's another gloriously beautiful day in Manchester. Alexa said it's going to be about 75 degrees Fahrenheit, which I believe is about low 20 Celsius. So I am rocking these shorts and flip flops and feeling mighty fine. Yesterday, I went mooching around the the watch stores, as I tend to do in St. Anne Square, and ended up at the Tudor Boutique. And we got to talking about different materials that watches are made from, and bronze came up. Came up. And bronze is a material that I know some manufacturers use, but it's not one that I've ever really considered. And we started talking about their Black Bay 58 bronze, and that's gonna be the focus of today's, today's video. And I'm taking y'all to a super secret well, it, I only found out about it a couple of weeks ago, a Manchester location that I'm excited to share with y'all. So I hope you'll stick around. All right, y'all, we've got a word of the day. And that word of the day is muse. Not like M-U-S-E muse, but M-E-W-S muse. And muse, M-E-W-S, is a British word, which means a row of houses or flats often traditionally converted from stables. The closest thing to an American would be townhouses. And the reason I'm giving you all that word of the day is because we are going to the Deansgate Muse. But behind these shops and facades on Deansgate is a secret row of businesses. And how I found out about it was somehow it came up on my Facebook or my Instagram, the Deansgate Muse. I walk by here all the time. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of times over the years, and I have never ever noticed this. Have a look at this. There is a painted, some painted steps, and up above it, it says Deansgate Muse. And up these painted steps is where we're headed. You can hear my flip flops going. <laughs> And what's up here is a row of independent businesses, bakeries, restaurants, bars. Check it out. This is undiscovered. It is super quiet right now, but it's very, it's very early. We've been given permission to film in the lion's den. So we're walking into the lion's den and the lion's den is a live music venue bar. Um, it's quiet now because it's early, but you come in here in the evenings or on the weekends and it's packed and rowdy, but in the, in the best sort of way. And they were kind enough to let us film here today. This is not the first time that Tudor has come out with a bronze watch. A number of years ago, they debuted their Black Bay bronze, but it's a 43 millimeter, 43 millimeter bronze case with a fabric strap. This, the Tudor Black Bay 58 bronze, is the first time they've done the whole thing, including a bracelet in bronze. Now their bronze itself is an alloy, which they include, which includes aluminum, and it, they make it in bars, then melt it down, and the cases and bezels and bracelets and dials are all stamped uh, in, in, that, in that alloy. And a lot of the work is either done by machine or done by hand, such as putting the numbers on the dials themsel themselves. It's, it's fascinating, the process itself. Bronze is a unique metal as it patinas. And a patina is the process where a certain metals like bronze, copper, brass will form a layer on top of it through the process of oxidation. Now, I don't remember much in middle school science, but I do remember, I do remember oxidation. That brought back a lot of memories because I don't remember anything, anything else from middle school science. And some folks like it and some folks folks don't because it it dulls the surface of this otherwise shiny metal and it kind of gets a greenish brownish hue to it um, and I think it can be cleaned off if you want to keep it keep it shiny there, there are ways to do that 
but a, a lot of folks really like it. Now, it, it's also interesting because it has an odor to it. Now, I'm not talking about some big stink or anything like that, and I don't go around sniffing watches, but it's got a kind of metallic smell, almost like if, you, if you're holding a bunch of coins and you, and you <laughs> again, that, I sound creepy, but if you smell the coins, it's that metallic smell. Uh, it's just something to think about. But please don't go into a Tudor boutique and start sniffing their watches. <laughs> All right, let's talk specs. It's a 39 millimeter bronze case with a thickness of 11.9 millimeters, so it hits my sweet spot. The bezel is a bronze aluminum, and the dial is also bronze with a brown gradient color with the numbers 369 on it, which are unique to Tudor bronze models only. It's an in-house movement with 70 hour power reserve and a and water resistance to 200, 200 meters. The bracelet is is all is all bronze, baby. <laughs> all bra all bronze, and it has that T fit clasp, which which you can uh, adjust, which is a super super feature on this watch. And it comes with at no extra charge a brown fabric strap with yellow with a yellow strap down the middle, which I think suits the watch very well. It retails for 4,190 pounds or about 5,300 US dollars and can and it's exclusive to Tudor boutiques only. So what are my final thoughts about this watch? I think it has a lot of pluses, uh, including size. That 39 millimeters hits my sweet spot as, as I've said. I wish more watchmakers would make their watches around 39 to 40 millimeters. I love the, the brown dial and the numbers on the dial. That, that makes me smile. Um, ultimately, bronze to me, I think it's interesting. I'd rather have a, a gold watch if I was gonna do that personally, but this is much more affordable, affordable than, than gold. And I've seen, some, I've seen some videos on YouTube how to take the patina off if you like the gold. I know some people really like the patina because it shows real life, it shows Everyday, everyday wear. And the watch that I showed y'all before um, had about a year and a half's worth of wear with, with the patina on it. Uh, ultimately, I, I think I'm gonna take a pass, but I enjoy, I enjoy my time with it. But listen, don't, don't listen to me. Go into your nearest Tudor boutique and try it on for yourself and, and see, see what you think. And by all means, let me know. All right, y'all, that's it for me today. I've got a couple of big thank yous. First to the good folks at the Tudor Boutique in St. Anne Square for giving us access to this super fine watch. And we've got to thank the good folks at the Lion's Den in Deansgate Muse for giving us permission to film here today. So if you find yourself in Manchester City Center, come on up Deansgate to the Great Northern where you see all the rows, rows of stores. Look for the painted stairs. Make your way up to a hidden paradise. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And leave a comment down below on your thoughts on the Tudor Black Bay 58 Bronze. And join me again for some more Watch Talk. Y'all take good care.